There it is. I wonder if it's nice or mean. So yeah, we are going to name this one Jinx. So I have some pretty sad news. This is Jinx, my Asian forest scorpion. We have had Jinx since 2018. I actually went back and looked at the video and it's amazing how much my care has evolved since 2018. I put her in a really basic little critter keeper setup. Pretty boring, I think it was just dirt and cork um, and a water dish. So just like your basic things. It was, it was a pretty small critter keeper though. And it wasn't too long. I remember I upgraded to one of the extra, extra large critter keepers and she lived a couple years in that and then eventually tarantula cribs provided the uh, huge cube enclosures which is what we rehoused her to last year for her final enclosure it's always really special when you have an animal that's really just grown with you unfortunately scorpion lifespans from what I have researched anyway it says that Asian forest scorpions typically live about seven or eight years obviously this was an adult when I purchased her, a wild caught adult. So the fact that we had this animal for about five years, I'm guessing she's probably over eight years old um, just because they grow so incredibly slow, which I will actually talk about because I actually do have some babies to rehouse. But of course I wanted to let you guys know that Jinx has passed away. This was the best scorpion I've ever kept thus far. <laughs> you guys know that she was extremely docile. I could pull this scorpion out and she would crawl all over and be totally chill about it. And of course I will be preserving her because I do that with most of my special animals. I mean, they're all special, but like I've said, I've had Jinx here for quite a long time. A lot of people saw the videos with her and appreciated scorpions because of her. So that's really awesome that she had such a long run and such a, a big job and a big purpose for being just a little scorpion. So we've got to preserve her. Um, this is just really strong. Like this is just pure alcohol in a glass sealed shut jar. I will definitely put her on some kind of display. So there we are. But yeah, this, this loss really sucked, um, but you know, in the grand scheme of things, it is amazing that we were able to enjoy her for so long. So with all that said, I did actually purchase a couple baby Asian forest scorpions, just because I cannot stand not to have one of these amazing scorpions in my collection. I know they're basic. I don't care. I love these. What are you eating? Oh, you're molting? Kanoa just dropped these off last night and one of them already molted. No wonder it didn't want to eat. Let me get this cricket out. Come here. We have a fresh little molted scorpion. I wonder if this uh, looks like this is a little stuck. Can we remove that? It's coming off. It's a little stuck there. Let me, I'm helping you out there, buddy. We almost got it. There! Ha ha! Good thing I caught that because that cricket was still in there from last night. I didn't realize it was in pre-molt. Here's the other one. Very cool. As you see, they're not quite black black yet, but they'll get there. And so I wanted to go ahead and rehouse them. Maybe I'll just build the enclosure for him and give him like a day or two to just harden up a little bit more. So we'll build both the enclosures today, but I will wait to rehouse this one until it is all hardened because I don't want to I don't want to stress it out anymore. So let's make some Asian forest scorpion enclosures. These are the little containers they've been living in and this is what we are rehousing into. They're just the small tarantula cribs cube. These will be amazing for it because I'll be able to give lots of substrate. It's definitely a lot more space. So of course we'll be using some cork bark for their hide and a little bit of frog moss because they obviously do rely on humidity. They're from Asian forests. Um, that's like an umbrella term. There are several different species of scorpion that fall under that term. And I'm pretty sure that Jinx was a different species than these guys, but these are H. spinifer, which is like the standard Asian forest scorpion species. And along with that, we are going to need a dish for water. And of course, we're gonna want some leaf litter as well. So probably not the most intricate enclosure, but still a very nice little home. And last but not least, we will have to put some of these mushrooms in. 
just because it's not a cat enclosure without a couple of these. So before I rehouse this one, I'm gonna go ahead and make the other one as well. Let's do the same thing again. We will do some cork bark again. A little bit of leaf litter for you also. Oh, and I need a water dish. And some more mushrooms. Perfect. These are super cute. They're pretty basic, but when I say basic, obviously I mean not as basic as I was in 2018. So I guess let's go ahead and rehouse the first one into this enclosure. So it did eat its cricket, which is awesome. There it is. I wonder if it's nice or mean. This is so cute. So I decided I'm gonna name them Dusk and Dawn. So I guess we'll call this one Dusk and the other will be named Dawn. Hmm, I might be stuck like this for a while. <laughs> It's always best to just back them up. <laughs> All right, oh. All right, I'm gonna back you up into your new place. There we go. Nice new enclosure. Here, we can, we can even put this on top. There you go. And of course it went right into the little, the little hide, oh hi. Oh my gosh, it is so cute. It's like a baby jinx. And then of course, Dawn just molted last night. And fortunately, we were able to get the stuck molt off. It wasn't really stuck stuck. It was just still like kind of not really attached to the tail, but the tail was kind of caught in it still. And I'm guessing the reason why is because I didn't realize it was in pre-molt and I put that cricket in there last night and it probably wasn't the easiest molting experience with a cricket. Fortunately, the cricket didn't seem to harm it at all, but you definitely have to be careful about things like that. So we are going to just put this in here and that way they can come out on their own terms because we are just very newly molted and gooey still so we'll just set it like this but yeah I'm super happy to have these two new additions uh, again I am really bummed about Jinx but she had a great long life and it's just awesome to have her a part of the channel for so long uh, now I've got these two baby Asian forest scorpion I still have my really big African flat rock scorpion I've had that scorpion since 2017 I believe late 2017 or it might have been early 2018 18. I remember I got them both around the same time and I also still have that baby flat rock scorpion if you guys remember I have a baby African flat rock scorpion who is doing pretty well and these are very long-lived amazing scorpions to keep as well if you ever have the opportunity to purchase one of these go for it they're kind of difficult to find nowadays but a lot of fun to keep so really great beginner scorpion as well gotta carefully put their little 
rock back over them. But yeah, so I just wanted to show you guys the two new babies and, you know, unfortunately tell you about Jinx. Again, I was pretty upset when I made the discovery, but, you know, in hindsight, we were pretty lucky to have her for so long and now we have the opportunity to grow out two captive babies so that will be a very interesting and different experience for me and i'll keep you guys updated on all of that so like this video if you enjoyed subscribe if you're not and you want to be don't forget i have an instagram video is probably way too much it's at tarantula.cat you can go follow me there i also have a patreon podcast and a teespring it is all linked down below i will see you guys soon let's get into the patreon pet pick